is up. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. When my sponsor, Longer, offered to send me the Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver, I was really intrigued. To be honest, I knew very little about what a laser engraver actually was. Images of science fiction came to mind, scenes out of films like Independence Day, Goldfinger, Tron, and so on. But the reality is, laser engraving is absolutely straight out of sci-fi, and the technology really is quite remarkable. Now, it's been around since the 1960s, and in recent years, due to technological achievements, market demand, and really the makerspace, laser engraving has become far more accessible in the last 15 or 20 years or so. And although sci-fi films may have exaggerated our expectations of what lasers can and can't do, that very same curiosity made me wonder, what can Longer's Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver actually do? Now, I may have over-anticipated what I thought a 20 watt laser can actually do and can actually cut, but what it can cut is quite exciting and opens the door to a whole world of endless possibilities. So today, I'm going to show you just a brief glimpse into this world. If you're going to do any kind of engraving indoor, do yourself a massive favor and pick up a fume extractor. In fact, Longer recommends operating the machine in a well-ventilated space, and I would definitely agree with that. Things get smoky, but more importantly, fumes emitted from a laser can be serious business and lead to serious risks if used irresponsibly. Longer actually provides a solution for this problem with the use of an enclosure. I'll have to get one of these one of these days, but uh, for now, I'll use the Viver. XF250 Fume Extractor. So I mentioned before about being a little ambitious. Spoiler alert, the Ray 520 watt really isn't designed to cut aluminum, but that didn't stop me from trying. Here I attempt to cut a piece of thin stock aluminum, about the thickness of a business card, that has a protective plastic coating over it. Now as you'll see, the laser actually did slightly scribe a line in the aluminum. You might find this practical for using in such applications as cutting protective film off material, perhaps for sandblasting, painting, or other surface finish. As you can see, the edges are nice and sharp on the logo and it made for easy removal of the protective film. You'll also notice the slight scribing in the X portion of the logo. You could technically engrave aluminum if under certain conditions. I suspect having a coating on the aluminum is an advantage here. The less reflective the surface, the more energy can be applied to it. This next test is more or less a test of various power levels, shapes, and fill patterns. The first row is just outlining the shape pattern, starting with 20% power, intensity, and 6,000 millimeters per minute, each box increasing power by 20% until reaching 100%. Row 2 does the same test, but this time is in a fill pattern. As it engraves to fill in the shape, it reminds me very much of an inkjet printer engraving in horizontal bands. The final row does a fill pattern that follows a path along its edge. I found this mode useful for text, but the cut finish inside the larger cavities appears less uniform. Now, the material I'm using here is, I believe, a basswood or a balsa wood of some kind. It's a very soft piece of wood. Uh, surface finish is actually not too bad. I actually prefer the fill pattern the best, as it seems to be the most consistent if you're going to use it for engraving. In the next test, I use the same type of material as our previous. This time, I want to test the machine's cutting ability and see what would happen if I slowed the motion of the Ray 5 down to just 600 millimeters per minute while running at various power levels. The speed was reduced down even further to just 60 millimeters per minute for the final box on the first pass. As you can see, it basically burns a hole in the wood. The second row is a bit more dialed in. Once you determine the sweet spot between power and speed, cutting with the Ray 5 is clean and accurate. So it's important to take some notes. Longer also provides a helpful materials cutting guide with material recommendations and cutting depths to save you some time. 
Make adjustments as necessary to help prevent burning of the material. As you dial the settings, you'll achieve less and less overburn. Overburn can occur due to several factors, including increased laser power settings, too slow of movement speed, or improper focus of the laser beam. To prevent overburn, it's essential to calibrate the laser engraver settings appropriately for the specific material being used, and in this case, conduct tests as necessary. Okay, now that we got the basic tests out of the way, let's get into some fun tests. Once again, we start with the same material as before, which, by the way, was included in the box from longer. If you'd like to see what else comes in the box, check out my unboxing and assembly video. The link is in the description. Here, I test engraving on my channel logo in a couple different styles. The first is done using the fill method, in which the logo and text is essentially removed entirely from the material. I run the machine at 70% power and 6,000 millimeters per minute to reduce overburn. As a note, I've sped up the video by three and a half times. The second logo is using the path method, in which only the edges are engraved. As you're about to see, the logos turned out great in their own right. Seeing the cut quality, texture, and edge definition on video just doesn't give it justice. Physically handling the finished product really starts to spark my imagination about just the possibilities of what I might be able to make in the future. I imagine thinking about what things I might be able to prototype just with the machine and, and how it could become part of my future product development. After seeing how the logo turned out, I decided to try a different material and scale it up. Here, you can see once again the edges are sharp and the depth is great. As a test, I used a hand sander to attempt to remove any overburn and smooth out the wood, with some promising results. Finally, I try edge fill options. The internal cut quality isn't as consistent when you have a larger cutting area, but the edge quality itself is still great. If you painted the engraving area, it would look quite professional. I decided to generate my own company's logo for this next test. It was as simple as dragging and dropping the vector of the logo within Lightburn, then simply scaling and positioning the logo as needed. It's great that the Ray 520 watt is compatible with such a powerful tool. Setting up the software takes all of a couple minutes. I literally had the machine producing test burns in under five minutes after having downloaded the software. You may notice less overburn in this test due to reducing the power to 70% while keeping the feed rate relatively high. The cut depth is shallow, but to remedy that, I could simply run the program as needed. Sometimes multiple passes are the answer rather than adding more power or lowering your speed. In this final test, I keep this portion of the video at normal playback speed. I want to showcase not only how quickly the machine can operate, but also to show just how much smoke it can generate. Again can't emphasize enough just how important having a fume extractor is or using some kind of enclosure with a vent. And there we have it. In just under 30 seconds, we have yet another logo. Maybe you recognize this one. Leave a comment and let me know if you do. In conclusion, the Longer Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver is an impressive piece of technology that brings a touch of sci fi into your workshop. It's versatile and powerful, allowing you to explore endless creative possibilities from intricate engravings to cutting a variety of materials. Remember, safety is paramount, so always use proper ventilation or a fume extractor. If you're intrigued by what you've seen, I encourage you to learn more about the Ray 5 20 watt and see how it can elevate your projects. Plus, as a special thanks for watching, Longer is offering a special promotion exclusively for CNC Timeless viewers. Check that link out in the description and take advantage of this offer. Thanks a ton for watching and see you later.